I wanted to put this outlet cover on here. You can see that the outlet was not installed far enough flush with the wall so that there's a gap here between where the outlet and the cover is. You can actually see back in there. And we do not want to have areas where anyone can reach in there and potentially hurt themselves. So instead, what we're going to be doing is placing a spacer behind this outlet uh, to bring the outlet face further forward. And however, this does require that we bring the outlet completely out of the wall and disconnect all the wires behind it to allow this face to be applied. So we've gone ahead and killed the power to this outlet. Yes, power is off. And we're gonna go ahead and remove this outlet. a very full outlet and I always like to double check to ensure that this is all off these are screw down electrical leads black to gold white to silver and the green is the ground good now that we have that all disconnected we're going to apply the spacer plate behind the outlet that just slides on like so and then we're going to feed the screws back in through this So now that we have the extender in place, we can go ahead and reconnect our wires. Again, black to gold, white to silver, and bare copper to the ground. Ideally, when this when you attach this, it's going to loop underneath so that as the screw tightens it will pull the wire more underneath it from the top again to make it so when you tighten it gets tighter instead of loosening the wire. Now that that is fed, I'm going to push all these contents back into there. Fold them up nicely.
nice thing is that this extender does not add any space to what needs to fit inside of this receptacle box. I think I need to trim a little bit out of the bottom here. This does happen. Or it doesn't want to quite fit. There we go. That little sixteenth of an inch drywall holding everything back. flush to the box. And the reason why you don't use a screw gun, even though I wish I could, is because you really don't want to break the box. And now for this. Now the outlet cover sits back, flush against the wall, and the outlets are sticking out, secure, and safe. There's just three tools required, electricity tester to make sure that there's no live electricity in the outlet, flathead screwdriver, and if we need to do any wire maintenance, we have the wire cutter and stripper. As far as parts, it was simply the outlet cover and the spacer. The boring work.